Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Zoho Books with QuickBooks. The first thing I'm going to talk about is what I actually recommend for you to use and when. Then I'm going to compare pricing plans and then I'm going to compare main features like how it actually feels to use QuickBooks and how it feels to use Zoho. Now, if you're looking for advanced reporting, uh, advanced payroll system, also you want to do the mile age tracking, you should go with the QuickBooks. But Zoho Books is not only winning on the pricing department, I will show you. They are winning also if you want to integrate it and connect it to the whole ecosystem of Zoho. So if you want to use Zoho Marketing, Zoho CRM, you should go with the Zoho. You can get the full bundle and you're going to also save money because you don't have to have Monday.com and Asana and other tools because you can have everything in Zoho. And that's like epic. So let's go to pricing plan. Now, when you would come here to pricing plan, you can see by yourself. In a basic account for 9 euro, it's like $12, up to 50 contacts, 2 users, 5 automated workflows, bank reconciliation, expense tracking, everything, right? Comparing to QuickBooks, you got 25 bucks a month, but you get free trial for 40 days. Or you can get the self-employed. Next one is 19 euro, that's like $25. I think that's one is the best because you got also bills there, vendor credits, reporting tax, like everything you actually need. And I'm not paid by Zoho to say these things. I just think that it's like better in a, a specific scenarios that you need. So standard version, $25 or 19 euro. Right here in QuickBooks, last version costs you 70 bucks a month. That's cool. But again, it's just QuickBooks is advanced. If you would have medium-sized business, I would definitely go with the QuickBooks. But if I would just use everything from Zoho, I would go with the Zoho books. And let me just show you everything here about Zoho and QuickBooks. Here I come on QuickBooks dashboard. It's wonderful. There is also one disadvantage in uh, QuickBooks. I personally think there is uh, that they have really bad customer support. You can read it on Reddit. You can read it everywhere that the customer support is like, man, not that great. And I don't know why is that, but it is. Maybe they are too big already. Mm, so. Zoho books, you come here to dashboard, you see the total receivables, total payables, then you see the cash flow here, income and expenses, your top expenses, projects. QuickBooks, you got invoices, expense, profit and loss sales. I think that QuickBooks dashboard looks prettier and much more mm, straightforward and useful because you don't have to actually scroll around. So this is the first thing. In both of these tools, you can simply add items, sales, products and services. This is like simple. Then you're going to see the banking that you can connect banking. Uh, you got bank reconciliation in both of these. You can chart off accounts in both of these. So, but yeah, mileage, you, mileage you get only in QuickBooks. So this is the one disadvantage Zoho has comparing to QuickBooks. To go further, you can simply come here and create invoices, sales, estimates, payment receipts, credit notes. You got everything. I just click here, click new. And I can simply create an invoice. Same with QuickBooks, invoices, create invoice. And voila, here you got it. Then you have projects in both of these. Like I will just show you the Zoho. You got a time tracking here, projects. And I have a project right here. And I can lock time, I can edit. Or I can simply go back and I can start. Start timer. And right now I can see that it's counting. So this is really good that you can have projects here. So, I mean, uh, Zoho Books is sufficient. It's really good. Even comparing to FreshBooks, I think Zoho Books is much better. And the uh, possibility to connect it with Zoho CRM marketing, social media, world, and everything, it's like top notch to have everything in one ecosystem. And I can select the project, task name, stop. And voila, timer has been stopped. And voila, here we got it. Then you have account in here. You can manage journals, chart of accounts. And this is the same with QuickBooks. So there is not so much difference in this department. And yeah, I don't know what else should I show you and what else should I explain to you because they're just both amazing. So to summarize this whole video is that definitely check Zoho One. Price Zoho One offers you following applications. They do have everything in under one roof. To summarize this whole video, you should definitely go with the QuickBooks if you want to have payroll. 
uh, if you don't if you're not going to use any Zoho applications. Also, I would go um, with QuickBooks if you were looking for advanced reporting. I would come here to reports. You can see it right here. Yes, you got in Zoho two reports, but there are not so many of them comparing to QuickBooks. But the profit and loss cash flow statement balance sheet, you got it in both of these if you need them. Then also you can connect the two accountants to QuickBooks. Uh, you got 250 uh, clients comparing to Zoho that you can have. And then what else should I tell you? Yeah. QuickBooks is good. The customer service is not that great. Zoho Books is really great if you connect it under one roof with Zoho ecosystem. And just my recommendation is that automate as much as you can. Many times I'm seeing that starting entrepreneurs or who are like uh, having small businesses, they're trying to do everything. In QuickBooks, you can automate. In Zoho, you can integrate with the others. And I would definitely recommend just outsource and automate as much as you can and don't try to do everything by yourself so that's the first thing and focus on earning money and this is another advantage of quickbooks comparing to zoho is that you can have actually um like many accountants from the us know how to use quickbooks they're really familiar with it comparing to zoho so if you need like someone outside perspective to your accountancy they just know and they ask you use quickbooks right and you're like yeah i'm using that so that's another thing that if you need in the future someone like outside perspective from accountant I would go definitely with QuickBooks. And yeah, as I mentioned, guys, 80% of your day should be focused not on administration, not on accountancy, not on uh, how to run and project management, but actually making money. If you want to focus on project management, you want to focus on your employees are earning money. And right, like right now, I'm getting a new employee. And like the first thing first was that Okay, man, but the company needs to find a way in the, like how you can be efficient and profitable for the company. And in a moment when I'm going to pay him, I don't know, 1000 euro a month and he's going to create a value of 1000, I'm going to give him even more money because I see, okay, this is legit. And another thing is, guys, this is just my recommendation in the future when you're going to have employees, just give them percentage of your profit. I don't know why in companies we don't give people percentage of our profit i know you can say oh my god but you know when you have the gift of creating and managing businesses or you want to in the future you have a gift to give you don't have the gift to have everything for yourself so yes of course that if you are struggling you shouldn't give to people your employees to understand that okay i can't give you but in the moment when they are working hard this is really important if they are working hard for you you need to give them more money, period. And you got no idea. When my employees in the future and my employee will be working tremendously hard and for the Christmas, I'm going to give them two free K as a bonus. Like, here you go, man. You know, like he will never leave. This is the more beautiful things on everything. So, Patya, one of the best uh, entrepreneurs in Czechoslovakia was like this. He was even saving money for the employees. He built like plenty of companies, like really big company and like huge factories. And he always gave percentage of profit. And people, do you know, do, can you imagine how happy people were when, when they went working for him? Can you imagine that? So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope my, you enjoyed my talk here. <laughs> Have a great day, guys, and goodbye. See ya.